Some other moves of note on the offensive line. They made it official, did the Browns. They activate Ethan Posick from the injured reserve. They elevate uh, Tay Davis, um, the linebacker from the practice squad for tomorrow's game. Um, Posick has been really good. Second highest graded center in the AFC, 82.8. Um, he didn't make the Pro Bowl because he was banged up for, for a good part of the year and, and doesn't have the brand name just yet. But when he was healthy, the line was playing significantly better than it has been without him in there. And I think it kind of created a domino effect on top of not having his play in there. I'm not... I'm not sold that Wyatt Teller is 100% healthy right now. You see some of the things that he would normally do that he's not able to do right now, especially with the movement, having that kind of calf injury. I think it's limiting him. And I think Posick was kind of taking some pressure off of him, just like Teller was taking some off of him in the early season. And then it just kind of created this domino effect where Teller not at 100%. Froholt is not a center. And then, you know, Conklin has had some struggles with kind of his injuries and working his way back from that patellar. It was just this domino effect, and the Browns have just not been able to move anybody up front uh, ever since, you know, really the bye week. And and I know Postic didn't go down until after that. But, I, I, I mean, you can't argue with – they signed a guy. They found a guy that was a former second-round pick that just had underachieved in Seattle. They found the offense and the scheme that he thrives in. And then Bill Callahan has really, sh you know, been able to mold that clay. And it's just a domino effect. It's not just that he wasn't there. I think the injuries, but I, you know, getting back a guy that was second graded in in the AFC, you're never going to be upset about that. No, and, and um, again, he's another guy that you you, you certainly have to figure out. Um, is there a way we can keep him around at a decent price moving forward? Because he's been that good.